Ahoy everybody and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We left off the last episode uh, in what we're calling our water crisis because I accidentally left the game running and caused myself a crisis involving water. Um, I, what, something I really want to do is take out all of these um, because they are just kind of in the way right now. And we have to we have to find a way uh, someplace to empty the salt water, but that's gonna be like way up here, if anything. Mm. Uh, well, let's see. This is the lowest. This this is kind of like the lowest part where the salt water is naturally occurring. So it might be a good idea to kind of dig down to there, maybe. Also, we wanted to get this bad boy plugged in. Uh, oh, I damn! I wish I had noticed that yesterday. I must have accidentally grabbed a gas pump instead of a liquid pump. That's my fault, but not a big deal. Just have them deconstruct and reconstruct one of these. Plug it in. Power. Where? Plug that in here. Just gotta get this bad boy plugged in. You know, into the section that's already overloaded. Hey. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. That'll get that running. That'll that'll pump the water into here. It's already hooked up. Uh, these we are gonna put our arbor. I think they are torn around this one. Water weed seed. What's this? Produces lettuce. That sounds delicious. I think it needs to be underwater. Atmosphere water, salt br salt water, or brine. Yeah, it needs to have a like special aquatic area. Oh, I only got two of these. I thought I had three. Those aren't going to get in the way, are they? Of each other? That looks okay. And then it does need a, a liquid input, but I don't remember what it is, and right now we're working on some other things at the moment anyway. Yeah, this is this is shooting steam out, which is, create you know, the water's condensing. See it dripping. Uh, and I was looking for the temperature overlay. The neutronium is like interesting. It's like naturally cool. Interesting. Looks like I've actually pumped most of the the salt water that accidentally got into the polluted water tank out. As soon as this is running, then I, we can move on to some other tasks. But at least nobody's starving to death right now. That's a step in the right direction. Irrigation, yeah. Uh, and it should tell me what it needs. Temperature, air pressure, polluted water. So we actually do need to get the polluted water up there. Uh, plumbing. Alright, so right now the, uh... Okay. I'm gonna, I gotta try to simplify this by, uh, for myself a little bit. So, like, let's just tell them to rip this all out because it doesn't need to be there right now. Uh, cancel that last bit, though. I don't want them actually taking out this. Thank you. Because we do need to run, um, like a goopy, a goopy one all the way up there. Oh, but right now there's still, it's still sucking salt water out of there is a problem. it sieve out the salt water for uh, well I mean we can just let it run for a little while there's not much salt water left in here it's getting rid of it and it might be done by the time we actually get that plugged in up there okay so let's go plumbing and try to get it set up at least and ideally I kind of want it to go just kind of around the side of the base somewhere out of the way mm, I have an idea I have an idea. Okay, what I am going to do is we are going to take... Uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them deconstruct a section over here just so it, uh, it stops flowing. Then I'm going to have them take all of this out. Thank you, guys. And that was very, very quick. Liquid bridge. So we wanted the liquid bridge like like so. I'll put that there, and then we're gonna put this pipe in. 
and it's going to go into that thing. And if that's full, it will go elsewhere. It needs to go to this level here. Um. <laughs> I guess for now, what we could do is have it bloop through like this. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Just scooch around there for now. Uh, so basically, because this produces more um, polluted water than it can utilize, theoretically, it should use the polluted water. Uh, the polluted water should go to the sieve back up there and then go shoot out to the other side. Because it will prefer to go this way. And, and it should back up on this side and after a little while, go all the way through and up to there. In theory. I'm going to need to, you know, wait for a couple. The showers produce a lot of um, polluted water, so I have to wait a little bit for it to, you know, back up. But it should, in theory, work. And, um, this is going pretty well, too. That's still not fixed. It, we, it could be as simple as... Oh, we're actually pumping water out into here now. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. That's working. Polluted water is all over the place here, but we expected that because I did open that up. Mop, 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 mop. These people mop up a lot of spills. For now, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them build one of these. Uh, oh. Uh, maybe we won't have them build it there because the plant's in the way. Tell them to harvest that. Or uproot it is what I want. Pincha pepper plant, that's it. Oh, and there's coal here too. Oh. I'll have to go through that. Ooh, what do we got? Puffin eggs. Hatchling eggs. I'm just gonna print out some eggs. I'm sorry, all your food is terrible, but basic survival is kind of taking over. Oh, that looks like a lot of flushes. I, might I think it'll take a little while. For okay, this is gonna start backing up. Yep. It looks like it's working so far, as intended. The only the other thing I could do here is just sieve out the salt water. That requires power. Oh yeah, there's a lot of shit around. I really wish they wouldn't just, oh, they gotta, oh yeah, right. To get to this, they have to walk all the way through it. my fault. Oh, you know, this, and, and to get to this one, too. Yeah, because they were, they were working off this before, so we can change that. We can deconstruct this. Copy this. Pop it in right here. And get rid of these. That way they're not walking through it all the time. Liquids, water. Okay, that should help a little. Is this pumping water out still? It's very slowly filling up. Is this water not polluted? It's not, so that means the, it was just a little dirty in here to begin with. Still not growing here, but it might have not hit the overflow point. We have to wait for a lot of flushes. It has not hit the overflow point yet, but I think we're close. Kind of waiting for, oh, oh, there's a flush. And it's, I think it's really the morning, the morning doozies and the showers that really uh, create the water there. Seems like it to me at least. I'm just gonna have to wait on that. 
Poor Mur He's still eating mush bars for the most part. I really don't feel like we're going through the salt water. Like, this thing does not go through the salt water very fast. Part of the reason it's not powered 24 7. Do they ever get that coal? Where was it? Where was it? Like, over here. This was coal. It's all coal right there. Tell me to get that out. Something interesting in here, too. Oh, and we were going to uh, tell them to dump the salt water into here. Bottle emptier. Rotate her around. Okay. And then, salt water. There we go. How's the oxygen looking? Oh, it's not that bad, actually. It's, it's really kind of filled out the base. I'm happy with that. Ooh, looks like a bunch of people are using the toilets right now. So we're gonna we're gonna we're waiting on this to fill up. See what happens. Yep. It fills up on this side, pumps out to the other, and then what I could uh, if this this is a pretty long pipe, um, so it'll back up quite a ways. If it gets to the point where we're not using enough of it to take the overflow, we put another uh, one of those sieves in and just dump it into the. All right, yeah, one of those bridges there, uh, and then we dump it into the, the tank here. All right, let's, uh, whoop, whoop. And then it should just kind of back up into there. Looks like it's working. Yep. We don't have a seed for this, but uh, let's have them sweep this debris out so it's not in the way. It is. We do have growing trees now, which I've never had before. That is a step in the right direction. The water system is just completely jacked up right now. What is in this? Filtration medium, sand, and this is just ice. Growth halted irrigation. Oh, you know why? It's, it's kind of built up into this area, but it hasn't kind of built up any further just yet. I think one more day of flushes should do the trick. I think. Is this thing working? It's still broken. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I tell? Can I turn that off? Because it doesn't seem like they're they're really bothering with it too much. And I don't want to want this huge. Uh, oh, you know what? We'll just put it in. there. We go. <laughs> there we go. It, it would be nice if that was working, but I'm not sure why they won't just deliver copper to it. You know what? What if we just Built another one, maybe, you can, sometimes things are as simple as, it's just a bug or something. Uh, it could be something wrong, but it could be as simple as it's just a bug or something. We'll have them build, I'll put another one in and see what happens. Yeah, they're immediately building that one. So maybe I could have someone just touch it. Enable auto repair. Yep, there we go. That's got it working again. And there is just water going into it this time. All right, so this, uh, okay, yeah, it was, it, it seems to be as simple as that. Just had to have someone go over there and poke it once and it kind of worked. Yeah, there we go. We need we need a fair few more flushes. But they're growing. That's good. I don't actually know if you could put those right next to each other and they'll overlap, but uh, 
It's good to know that you could at least, I know that you could at least do every other one and it works just fine. Yeah, there we go. Part of the problem is it's kind of, uh, it kind of builds up over here. I don't know, and I don't know, but I, I, I don't imagine this would actually use anything if there's nothing planted in it. Now, these uh, water weeds seem very interesting to me. Produce lettuce. That seems like something I could eat. And it also seems like it, need, it would be an area that would need to be uh, flooded in some way, which is interesting. Microchip. Yeah, they get, it's interesting they have to continuously tune those up. And I'm thinking it might we might be getting to the point where we could actually bring more people into the colony. Uh, the food situation is relatively stable. And we're starting to fix uh, some of the problems we have. I think the best thing to do here would be to simply um, heat this water up to the point where the germs die because it's just I don't I don't I don't know where the, all the the, the 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 germs are coming from, frankly. Uh, it's o it's only source of water. Oh, you know what? Source of water is the brine is polluted. The brine it's utilizing is polluted is is what it is, or the salt water. Okay, well there's that. Uh, it, it is enough to cause food poisoning was the problem, but, uh, with these arbor trees actually growing and kind of, uh, zipping along kind of nicely, I am going to go to power and I'm going to put in a wood burner right down over here and we are going to pop that guy in with a heavy watt wire. And that should help out some of the power problems, because otherwise I'm going to have to go look up a coal again, because we're a little low on that. Well, these things actually use a fair bit more uh, polluted water than I necessarily thought. I think with time... We'll, we'll be in a good position to... Have those growing continuously, but I think it's going to take a little bit. Now this is not going to have anything to, uh, to do for a while, because it's cause we're going to get the. Pretty sure that that. Hopefully I'm not wrong there. Think those produce wood. Pretty sure there's an animal as well that eats them. That's a lot of chlorine. I got three of these things running continuously with multiple sieves, and I don't think I like that. What do I got? Bristleberries or some new people? Increased science cannot do digging farts frequently. Decreased air consumption, allergic to floral scent. Uh, decreased air consumption. I like that. Welcome. Get to work. Uh, let's see, we got a couple here. Do, 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 do. You like tinkering, so you get a morale boost for that. And you like farming. There we go. Again, uh, the morning, the morning routine gets a lot of polluted water. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. These actually use way more than I anticipated. They use it way quicker. They grow pretty fast, too. That's nice. Skill up. Oh, now there's a couple of people taking showers, too. Oh, but most of that went right into the sieve, of course. Because it's just the overflow. Gotta remember that. There was no overflow on that. Um... Okay, so it's it's a good it, it's good, not great. I think with time, that, that's that's the rub there. With time, it'll be fine. Also, looking for more more sources of coal or just those seeds. What I wouldn't get. Well, that's steam in there. That's interesting. It's very steamy in here. Why is it so hot? 
Oh, it's really fucking hot over here. Oh, wow. A thousand degrees C. Is that what? No, that's. No, 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 no. I was like, maybe that was kilograms. No, that's a thousand degrees. That's fucking hot. Yeah, and this, yeah, look at this. This is almost boiling. I want to see what's over this way. Uh, I think I have to have someone go over there to do that, though. Um, and for that, I think they would need a little... Oh, you know what we should do? We talked about doing this. Here, let's grab a... Um, let's have them do this. Neutronium. Extremely resilient metallic element and cannot be excavated by any duplicate mining tool. Interesting. Cannot do anything with it. Uh, in that case, cancel this, because that's in the way. And, um... There we go. One over. That'll be fine. Because this is ugly. Yeah. Can I eat these? The poke shells? I feel like we should be able to eat them. They seem delicious. How are we doing up here? I, 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 part of me wants to keep exploring north too, but that's gonna be. There's a lot of water in the way now. A lot of that salt water. We're not. We're, we're while we're dealing with it, we're not dealing with it quickly. Okay, the germs in here are. As this is kind of filling up, the germs are diluting out. It's not too bad. All, I would love to redo the, the ventilation system I got up here. Because this is an enclosed area, and I think what would be good for me is just kind of let the gases flow, flow a little bit more naturally through the colony. Probably be for the best. Why are you guys just leaving your food all over the place? This might be full. Got, let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, this only holds 100 kilograms of stuff, that's why. And we've got 50 cal kilograms of mush fry in there. Well, there's your problem. How's this? 82% done, that's delightful. These might not actually need as much room as I, I thought, because it seems they kind of only get that big growth pattern. Uh, toward the end of the life cycle. Which is cool. Well, one more thing there, and they... They, they pop the cork. Boop. But that's not going to make much of a difference. What is this? Granite, sand, abyssin, or pinch? Pinch row? Oh, is it, uh, it's from these guys goop from those guys. Hmm. I'm wondering if we could uh, tell him to cool it on the mush for now. Maybe turn that off. That'll free up some workers to get, some, to get a couple tasks done. Uh, I'm wondering if we actually got past the point where we're accidentally throwing salt water in here. It does look like we are. How are we doing over here? Oh, yes. It is working. Ever so slowly, this pipe is blocking up. So, you know, in another couple hundred cycles, it'll completely block up and we'll need to do something with it. But, for now, it is perfectly fine. Is this fully grown? Oh, it's got little diddles hanging off to the side now. Ooh. Oh, that's a little weird. I wish I had more of these. Uh, I'm wondering, will they produce seeds that I can plant? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> and the oxygen over here is good, yes? Yes. It's really only kind of iffy, like, in the middle of the base, but that's not too big of an issue, because they don't spend a lot of time, like, living there. All right, so this is plugged in. Doesn't, we don't have any lumber yet. Oh, but I think we might be... 
Do we? Did we just? Did we just lumber? I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh wait. It's not. Well. It does say insufficient resources. And it's definitely not on. Or what if we make sure that this is, if, if there's lumber to burn, burn it. We didn't create any new seeds, did we? Let's see, we've got bristle blossoms, which we're not, no, we don't have any arbor acorns. Harvested for lumber. It says harvested for lumber. Spruces, spices, spice. Must. Can we? Can we like crush? We can't crush the spices, can we? Salt to table salt. I haven't had him do that in a long time. And can't. Looks like they probably can't go any further down here. There's no ladder. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, I understand we have long commutes, but not much I can do about that right now. I mean, I saw them. Okay, the things, the little things going away, but it's not battery sufficiently full. Oh, so it's not on. All right, well, the batteries are full. Well, uh, with that, I think what we're going to do is allow them to start expanding the power grid, because we definitely need to. Uh, and we need to expand it south, too, because there's a lot of stuff kind of in the sub-levels that are problematic, uh, which means going like this. And like this. I'm gonna have them go straight over to this edge too. Not actually break through, but at least have them go through it. And get some more of these plugged in because I, I is there? Because I thought this would be it was it would go up. Insufficient resources, lumber. Yeah, so there is no lumber in there. So what happened with this? Uh, it's growing branches. Growth ninety five percent. So do you wait for the branches to grow out and then they come over and they grab the branches? Is that what happens? That, that's gotta be it, right? And I, I'm thinking, well, I can, yeah, I can see them getting bigger. I'm, I'm watching this tree like a freaking hawk. They're both growing branches now. Oh, got bigger. Trunk health. Irrigation. Okay, so this one ran out of goop. There we go. Ooh. It looks like the... I'm wondering if the branch... The branches halt? Or reset. It's not that they halt. It looks like they reset if they run out of juice. That is a problem. As we are de there, we are. It is definitely utilizing it faster than we're creating it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, okay, I have an idea. Uh, I, and I think they might even use it quicker. Yeah, definitely, definitely a problem. We have a lot of polluted water, so there that's not an issue. Salt water. Sure, print it out. <laughs> I think we I think they for these to produce 
the branches, it looks like they need a steady source. And we're not giving them that right now. Basically means we need to hook this into it. And right now it just pumps straight up into there. Um... I'd simply tell it to... Pump out of here into that one. That, that does get basically get rid of the giant overflow that I have for myself. That's not a huge deal, but it's... It is, it is an issue. Um... Hmm. Okay, okay. Idea. I'm gonna do this. Let, let him hook that up. Go. I'm gonna take this one out. Uh, so that is going to be deconstruct this section right here so it's out of the way. And I need to... Well, for now, let's just do that. Then do this. Oop. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Cancel that. Uh, just split it and have it go straight into there. This that that pipe can still operate as an overflow for a little bit. It'll fill. It'll back up. I think it'll back up. That'll at least get these guys a steady source of, of nutrients. And uh, I think that, because it, it looks like the branches would grow and grow and grow, and then when they ran out of fertilizer, they die. Or ran out of the um, the liquid they needed. Let's get this liquid pipe hooked up and see what it does. Hopefully we do get this done, like, right now. Yes, use the clean side, <laughs> operate from the clean side if you can. Please and thank you. One more. There it goes. Because I have not seen any actual lumber being created yet. Yeah, and the growth is halted on both of them. Up oh, there it goes. I'm not positive about that. I mean, that time they kind of popped back in. It looked like there was big branches, but there was one instance there, it, definitely, where I noticed the um, there was like medium-sized branches, and it kind of died. And then when it came back, yeah, they were gone. Could be me. They could need to get to a certain point. I could have uh, mis misdiddled what I. Oh no! And there's another problem right there. Okay, okay, more problems. Anyway, uh, one problem. One problem dealt with, another problem creeps, creeps up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've been enjoying this series, and I will see you next time.